Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem from Pathfinder. It's a tough problem but solution is very easy. Uh, so guys, this problem is uh, from check your understanding uh, part from thermodynamics. Uh, so here is the problem statement. A kettle of negligible heat capacity containing Mi 1 kg, Mi is given as 1 kg of cold water at 0 degree. And you are putting it on a massive plate of an electric heater of constant power. Uh, the water start boiling in time interval of delta T1 is equal to 15 minutes after the heater is switched on. If another 1 kg of cold water is added into the kettle, the whole water starts boiling again after a time interval of delta T2 which is 10 minutes. So guys pay attention to this. This time interval is uh, less. Uh, the amount is uh, same same amount of water you are adding but the time interval for boiling is uh, lesser there is a key point here uh, now the heater is switched off if the entire heat is stored in the heater uh, plate is transformed to the water calculate the ma mass of water evaporated after the heater is switched off a specific heat of water is 4.2 kilojoule per kg per centigrade a specific latent heat of vaporization is given uh, boiling uh, point of water is given and heat loss to the environment is negligible and a very nice hint is given uh, in this problem that is uh, after the heater is switched on a part of heat generated is stored in the heater plate and the remaining part is utilized to increase the temperature of the initial amount of water present in the kettle after the heater is switched off the heat uh, stored in the heater plate is utilized to vaporize the water uh, present in uh, the kettle. So this simplifies a lot uh, to this problem. So let's discuss the concept part of this uh, problem here. It's kind of uh, theoretical. <clears throat> so when heater is switched on, both water and heater plate gets heated up. Therefore, heater plate also absorbs some amount of heat. So when initially heater is switched on, uh, some part of the heat is uh, taken by the heater plate and which will raise the temperature of it and it is given since the kettle has negligible heat capacity it doesn't absorb any energy so the total energy supplied by the heater it goes for boiling the water plus it increases the temperature of the plate so if heater has a constant power of p and let's say plate absorbs uh, energy of e or the corresponding uh, heat e in that case, I can say this is the total energy given by the heater, which is P delta T1. Delta T1 is 15 minutes in this problem. And that will raise the temperature of water to boiling point. So Ms delta T or delta theta, where uh, theta final is uh, boiling and theta initial is zero. Uh, boiling is 100 degree. Plus some amount of energy will be absorbed by this uh, water. Now there comes a assumption which we have to make and I feel without that this uh, question is not proper in, uh, in, in this book. They must have given this uh, part in the, uh, as a part of the problem. So it is given since the same amount of water takes more time of uh, heating initially compared to the same amount of extra water added later on. So it should give us a clear idea that the heater plate doesn't absorb any heat when water is heated again after mixing. Though it is possible that heater may uh, take some lesser heat, it may absorb some uh, heat even. So that is not clear and I feel they must have given this uh, assumption in the problem that in the second part uh, heater doesn't uh, absorb any energy. Uh, and uh, note also I have attached here. Uh, because if we don't take this uh, assumption, then answer doesn't match. So this assumption should uh, definitely come, uh, uh, should be given to you in the exam hall or in the problem statement. So here we can uh, uh, discuss the second part. Now the extra amount, uh, when we are adding water at zero, uh, one method could be that we can, uh, you know, find the new temperature of mix, uh, mixed water and then we can proceed for combined mass. Instead, uh, this is far, far easier because the initial water is already at 100. Uh, so whatever extra amount of heat we are supplying, that is going to come to uh, the water directly, which was at zero degree, the additional part. So definitely this P T2 is uh, P delta T2 must be equal to M S delta T. 
that is m i s w theta boiling minus theta initial now we have these two equation and since p is not given in the problem but they are mentioning constant power we can take uh, we can divide equation 1 and equation 2 and if i divide i'll get this delta t1 by t2 which is 1 plus e by m i s w theta final minus theta initial which is theta boiling minus theta initial when i simplify i am getting this energy which is absorbed by the plate it is nothing but m i s w delta theta which is theta boiling minus theta initial and times delta t1 by delta t2 minus 1 delta t1 is greater than delta t2 this is 15 minutes and this is 10 minutes now this is the amount of energy absorbed by the uh, plate so once this uh, once this heater is switched off uh, the plate is uh, going to supply this energy further that is the uh, part of the problem it is given and that is going to convert some extra water into vapor so now we have to use this uh, concept of latent heat because phase change is taking place so this energy must be equal to mass of water vaporized into uh, latent heat of vaporization this is what we have to apply here so now i can say here the energy stored in the plate will be utilized for extra heat uh, for vaporizing the water so after heater is switched off this mass of uh, vapor uh, vaporized uh, uh, water you can say it is going to be the energy which will come from the plate divided by latent heat when i substitute the value and i am going to get this m i s w delta theta which is theta b minus theta i times delta t1 minus delta t2 divided by lv delta t2 this is nothing but lv delta t2 right this is going to be the final answer for this problem and guys uh, you can see here if we use the numerical data and we substitute this uh, i'm going to get final answer as uh, 100 gram of water will be vaporized further i'm not showing the calculation part but i think the conceptual part uh, must be clear to you and uh, the necessary assumptions we need in order to solve this problem otherwise it will be very difficult to uh, solve this because we'll be having more number of unknowns compared to the equations available so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem and if you have enjoyed it please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it